joke day. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new toy. What is it? It's a telescope. You can see things that are really far away. Wow. Can I have a go? OK. I can't see anything. Try twisting it a bit. <laughs> it still doesn't work. Why are you laughing, Ben? It's a joke telescope. It gives you a black ring around your eye that makes you look really silly. Look! Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> Today is Elf Joke Day. What's Elf Joke Day? It's a special day when all the elves play jokes on each other. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is fun. <laughs> Would you like one of my chewy sweets? Yes, please. <laughs> that wasn't funny, Ben. <laughs> Sorry. Here, have this flower. No, thanks. I've had enough of your silly jokes. It's OK, Holly. It won't jump out or make your face dirty. Promise? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> My squirty water flower. It's not funny. <laughs> it is funny. Zip, zap, zop. Upside down, you silly elf. Whoa! <laughs> ah, put me down. Lesson time, Holly. Oh, hello, Ben. What are you doing upside down? Help, help. Princess Holly. Is this your doing? It was Ben's fault. He was playing jokes on me. Never use magic in anger. It can be very dangerous. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Holly, put Ben down. Sorry, Ben. Phew, that's better. Now, what's all this about jokes, Ben? It's Elf Joke Day. <laughs> oh, I love jokes. I don't think they're very funny. <laughs> you should learn to have a sense of humour, Holly. Come on, Holly. Let's have some fun. Yes. Today's lesson can be how to have fun. Off you go. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> It out every year. Ho 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 Happy Elf Joke Day! Ho 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 ho! Mr. Elf! I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly! I hope we didn't startle you! <laughs> it's okay, it's funny! Oh, ho ho! Hello, Princess Holly! Are you having a merry elf joke day? <laughs> yes, I like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> To the elf truck. I'll tell Nanny Plum you're here. Oh, no, no, Princess Holly. A joke should be a surprise. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, I'm really busy. Who can that be? Hello. What do you want? Hello. What do you want? What? What? Why are you copying everything I say? <laughs> Why are you copying everything I say? Oh, 
I haven't got time for this. <laughs> I haven't got time for this. Silly old fool. Silly old fool. Oh. I don't think Nanny found that funny. I thought you said she liked jokes. She does. Let's try another one. Very well. This is my favourite. It's a little toy mouse. <laughs> oh, Nanny Plum doesn't like mice. <laughs> She'll like this one. It's funny. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> Send it in. <laughs> Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Is she laughing? Um, sort of. Oh, splendid! Let's go and join in the fun. Oh, happy Elf Joke Day. That was not funny, wise old elf. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Nanny Plum. May I say how lovely you are looking today? What? Is this another silly joke? <laughs> no. Oh, you are so pretty. May I take your photograph? Oh, well, I suppose so. Oh, you are most kind. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, wh what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That was not funny at all, Mr Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> Nanny, you said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, what's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum and she got angry and did a spell on him. <laughs> The wise old elf was just having fun. Don't you have a sense of humour, Nanny Plum? Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, why did you turn him into a snail? Um, it was meant to be a funny joke. And was it funny? No, Your Majesty. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. I'm not surprised. Turn him back into the wise old elf, please, Nanny Plum. Very well, Your Majesty. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> your Majesty, thank you so much for your help. Oh, that's all right. I must say, you are looking most handsome today, Your Majesty. May I take your photograph? Of course. <laughs> uh, um, Your Majesty? Not now, Nanny Plum. I'm having my picture taken. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, oh, stinky elf cheese! <laughs> I can't help playing jokes. It's Elf Joke Day. And I'm an elf. <laughs> oh, most amusing. Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> oh, no! What? 
What's wrong? I put enough fuel in the rocket to get to the moon, but I forgot about getting back. Oh, dear. That was a bit silly. Yes. Yes, it was very silly. It's all because of your little elf rules. If you'd let us bring our fairy ones, we could have used magic to get us back. But of course, there's someone... been quite enough magic for one day with that picnic basket of yours. I didn't mean to make so much magic jelly. Magic jelly, of course. Danny Plum, listen carefully. I want you to put the magic basket into the fuel tank. Why? There's no time for questions. Just do it. Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. <laughs> We can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. Lots, lots, lots. <laughs> I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, it's charming, but I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things, and the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> Hmm. The king likes surprises, doesn't he? Yes. We can give the king a surprise party. But he doesn't want a birthday party. Ah, but it won't be a birthday party. There'll be music and dancing and fireworks and no one will say the word birthday. Gosh, that's very clever. It's brilliant. Come on, Ben. We need to get ready for the party. <laughs> Calling all elves. We need to arrange the king's party. Right, right on. Hello, Daddy. I've got something for you. What's this? Open it and see. 
I said no birthday cards. It's not a birthday card. This is just a card to say what a lovely daddy you are. Oh, thank you, Ollie. And here's a present. It's not a birthday present, is it? No, King Thistle. Are you sure? Sure. A toy robot. Thank you, Ben. I made it myself. And here's your cake. It's not a birthday cake, is it? Absolutely not. This is just an ordinary cake. The taste is completely different. Oh, good. <laughs> Delicious. Hmm. <laughs> Cards, presents, cake. And this is nothing to do with my birthday? No. no. Well, I suppose it's not really a birthday then. As long as the elf band doesn't turn up. There's one more surprise, Daddy. Oh, I love surprises. You have to close your eyes. OK. Allow me, Your Majesty. Elves are good at building boats, and I'm an elf. I can build a better boat than you. Nonsense. Can too. Stop! Stop! I don't care how you do it, just build me a boat. So, how are we going to work together on this? I know. We'll build a boat each. And King Thistle can choose the best one. And he'll choose mine. He'll choose mine. I have a fantastic idea for a boat. Oh, what is it? It's a secret. Come on, Ben. Fine. I've got a better idea anyway. What sort of boat are we going to build? We're going to build a Viking boat. Cool! Nanny, what sort of boat are we going to build? No idea. The wise old elf said he had a good idea, but it was a secret. All right, let's find out what it is. Isn't that cheating? Yes, well done, Fleur. That's called cheating. Our Viking boat will have shields on the sides and a dragon head at the front. Ooh! How big will it be? Not too big, just large enough for the king to sit in. Come on, fairies, back to the castle. So, they're making a Viking boat. We can make one too. Isn't that copying? Yes, Fleur, well done. That's called copying. Abracadabra, Viking boat. And to make it better than theirs, we'll make it bigger. Hello? Hello, Nanny Plum. How's your boat coming along? We finished. I magicked up a Viking boat. What? But we're building a Viking boat? Fancy that. We're both building Viking boats. Nanny Plum is building a Viking boat. Oh! She must have spied on us. Hmm. Two can play at that game. Who wants to be a spy? Ah, wise old elf. I'm looking for a job. Ha-ha! <laughs> Very funny, Your Majesty. No, I'm serious. I need to earn a gold coin. I see. Normally, you'd have to go to the Elf Job Centre and answer lots of questions. But in your case... No, no. I command you to treat me like anyone else. Yes, sire. Naim. The king. Mr. King. What was your last job? The king. The king. Any skills? Being king. Mm, we don't have a king job right now. Um, We need a toy factory worker or a farmer or a sailor. Ooh, Daddy. Sailor sounds fun. Yes. I like messing about in boats. You will be a sailor on our brand new ship, Your Majesty. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble sailor. But we need a king to launch our new ship. Oh, all right then. I'll just be a king for a moment. I declare this ship launched. Hurrah! Now treat me like any new sailor. OK. You can mop the deck. Right. 
You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. <sighs> Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. Oh, this is fun. Where to starboard? Which way's starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? We've hit a rock! Abandon ship! Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. Right, this wall has got to come out for a start. I suppose you know what you're doing. Don't worry. I always get the building inspector to check my work. Who's the building inspector? Me. But how can you inspect your own work? Oh, I'm very strict. Hmm, let me see now. Having some work done, are you? Ah, uh, yes. Dear, oh dear. Who did this for you? You did. It's very bad work. Very, very bad work. You see, when I'm the building inspector, I'm very strict. Yes, you said your own work was rubbish. Which means it will all have to be redone. This is going to be a much bigger job than I thought. Calling all elves. I'll be needing the elf truck, the elf digger, and the elf crane. Hello, wise old elf. What's the job? We need to take all this away. All what? All of the castle. Really? Yes. We're going to rebuild it from scratch. Right all. Come on, lads. Let's get cracking. What a lot of noise! Take it away! Afternoon, Your Majesty. Ah, yes, um, carry on. That's everything, lads. Off you go. Daddy, they've taken the whole castle away. This is a disaster. Cooey. Oh, no! It's Mummy. Can I take a look now? Uh, only if you close your eyes. Oh, this is fun. Just like those shows on the telly. Can I open my eyes now? I wouldn't. Tell me when I can. Uh, in about a month. Oh! Where's our home gone? Uh... Hello? Danny? I know. Your ears are wiggling. Which means you are doing magic. Stop it. Stop it now. I do not like magic. Now, Holly, what is my next job? Um, magic school. Oh. Good morning, children. I am Nanny Plum for today. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Today's magic lesson is magic always leads to trouble. So, don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Palum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding! What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Ow! That's not a bed, it's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to elf rescue. Oof. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch Elf Rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how can a bed be so soft? Nanny! Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. 
Okay, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. Oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, oh there's not going to be a jelly flood. Wise old elf, we have a question. The answer wasn't in our storybook. It's an elf question, not really a fairy matter. So we thought, as you are the wise old elf... Yes, of course. Ask me any question, anything at all. <coughs> Where do the stars go in the daytime? Uh, ask me another question. Uh, on sport, perhaps. You're not really wise, are you? You're just old. So, old elf, you don't know the answer? Uh, no, but I do know where to find it. Where? Follow me. Is it far? All of this searching for answers has made me a bit tired. We can take the lift. Mind the doors, please. Where are we going? We are going to the Great Elf Library. Great Elf Library, indeed. It's probably just a dusty old cupboard. Goodness me! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow! It's huge! There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Is this true, wise old elf? <laughs> I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty-ho! Bye! Bye! Talking of food, I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me! And me! And me. Queen Holly! Mind you to eat something. <laughs> Being queen is easy peasy. But no one has made any food. Everyone's on holiday. Oh. Queen Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly. Where are we going? To the kitchen! We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am! But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch! Abraca do, Abraca bong. Uh. Ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. It's not an earthquake. Phew. It's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh. <gasps> it's smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. Phew, it's not in my flat. Ah, our door's stuck. Here, 
Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your Majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, your Majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be disturbed. That's the law. Is it? Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? How will that help? Wait and see. I'll be right over. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! <laughs> The things we do for our pets, hey, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr. Elf. Pippin! Here, Pippin. <laughs> Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again! The wheel's heading for the great elf tree! We'll have to warn the... Everybody ready? Ready! Go, go, go! Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Gaston was right. This is the jungle. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, well, find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. <laughs> Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locanthemum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. 4 dollars 
That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. Ah! It's raining. It's not rain. It's a big person with a watering can. This isn't the jungle. This is a garden centre. <laughs> Gaston's brought us to the wrong place. Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle. Ugh, and we're stuck in a garden centre. Hello. Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre in a pot of daffodils. Oh. Oh, it's so colourful and pretty. It's a mass of pipes, tubes and incredibly complicated... <gasps> I don't need to know the little details. Just fix it. What a great and clever leader. Yes, we're very lucky. Hmm, this is going to take some time. Mr Zyros, while you're waiting, would you like a tour of the Little Kingdom? We would very much like that. Oh, goody. This way. First stop, Gaston's Cave. Gaston, are you in? This is our friend, Gaston the Ladybird. Ah, a ladybird. So that is the sound a ladybird makes. What did he say? He asked if Gaston is for eating. No, we don't eat our friends. Do you? Oh, no. Hardly ever. Next on the tour, the little castle, where I live. Mummy! Hello, darling. Oh! <laughs> it's OK, Mummy. They're just aliens from Planet Bong. Oh, that's all right, then. <laughs> no, you can't eat her. Thistle King, is this where you make your important decisions? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm always making important decisions. Your Majesty, do you want soup or sausages for lunch? Hmm, I think sausages. You are very wise, Thistle King. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. And Elf Ben, where do you live? I live in a tree. Tree? What is tree? Here it is, the great elf tree. Ah, I see. So a tree is a kind of apartment block. I am learning much about your planet. Hello, Ben. Ah, aliens! Yes, Dad. You remember the aliens we met on the moon? They're here on holiday. Oh, yes. Those aliens. Happy holiday! <coughs> no, he is not to be eaten either. Here are your licences, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. <laughs> uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly! Lots and lots! <laughs> Mr Daisy, used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic licence? Of course I do. Oh, dear. It's expired. What does that mean? It means... It's worthless. Can't I do magic, then? No, it's against the law. No grown-up fairy can do magic without a licence. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> it's not funny. You're right. It's not funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nanny does not have a license. She must not do magic. Yes, yes, wise old elf. But maybe we can overlook it just this once, as it's Nanny? It's because it is Nanny we shouldn't overlook it. She's dangerous. Wise old elf, I am your king and I must... Yes? Is your license up to date, Your Majesty? My license? Well, I'm sure. I mean, I... I, I w Maybe I should take a look. Uh, no need for that. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Rules are rules. What? So I can never do magic again? Of course you can. Uh, can she? She will have to go back to magic school first. Magic school? Yes, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh. The big children's ones are going into the library with the others. Now it's time to play Stick the Tail on the Donkey. Here's the donkey. Looks like a cabbage. Or a duck. It's a donkey. Now, I will blindfold Nettle Elf and she'll try to stick this tail on the donkey. <laughs> Ow! She stung me again! It's a stupid game anyway. You need a big dragon to stick the tail on. Looks like the twins' party has started. Ah! Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Sissel, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the Two of Hearts. Your card is the Two of Hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um, was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad... Weather forecast. Weather forecast? Yes, we can use my elf weather detector. Wow! So can this machine tell if it's going to snow? Of course. How does it work? I listen to the weather through this giant ear trumpet. It's so sensitive I can hear a butterfly flapping its wings in Africa. Don't talk loudly into the trumpet. Sorry, wise old elf. Now, please stay quiet. Ah, interesting. Is it a butterfly? No, I can hear weather. What sort of weather? Uh, <clears throat> there's a chance of sun or rain with clear skies or clouds. Is it going to snow? I can say it certainly might. But then again, it might not. Oh. I know. Let's ask Nanny Plum if it's going to snow. Why ask Nanny Plum? Nanny can tell the future. Ha! This I must see. <laughs> Tell the future, can't you? I certainly can. Can you tell if it's going to snow today? Yes, I'll use my special snow forecasting globe. Oh, ho, ho. I see. You gaze into the crystal ball and it tells our fortune, I suppose. <laughs> no, you just shake it, like this. There we are. It'll snow today. Hooray! Stop, stop, stop. How on earth can that 
thing predict the weather? It's never been wrong. What if you shook it in the summer? Well, you don't shake it in the summer. Oh. <laughs> Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing! It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. Ah! Oh, the mill's going crazy! It's making too much flour! Run! Run! Run for your lives! Too fast! The mill is out of control! It's filling up with flour! Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down! <sighs> All right! I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind! No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it. Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. Ah! <gasps> I hope they're OK. Ah! They don't look very happy. Elves are never happy. Ah! Maybe you could stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming. Like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. Ooh. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zigzag, zig, make it big. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said... Bah. But what does that mean? Bah. Means... Bah. Uh, ahem. Sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <whistles> <whistles> Ah! Oh. <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <whistles> Rex.
Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <coughs> wow! <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh, a, a cow! cow. <laughs> <laughs> She likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <coughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <coughs> And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. If there's a problem, what do we say? Call an elf right away. And what are we? We're elves. Is up so fun. The elves are here. What's the emergency? It's the twins. Is that you, Mrs. Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr. Elf. Goodness me, Mrs. Elf. I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible. <laughs> oh, no. The twins have made all the elves invisible. Uh, who's going to help us now? very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves, too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Ah. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. A wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say... Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. <gasps> oh, it worked. Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha, I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, 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 and lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Plum! 
It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Oh, dear. I believe I did do the spell. Fancy that. The wise old elf doing magic. <laughs> you have been naughty. Yes, and it just goes to show that magic always leads to trouble. Happy no magic day, Mr. Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf. Nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine, of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of no magic day. We can all have a holiday. There's no time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can fix anything. And, and we're, we're elves! There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. Nice bees. Uh, just borrowing a bit of honey. Um, I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz. Pull me up! Buzz, buzz, buzz! Pull me up! Mission accomplished! Calm, safe and sensible. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following her. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Look, there's loads more of them. Why are they following him? Maybe they think he's the Queen Bee. Ah! Faster! Hold on! We're almost at the little castle. Thank goodness! The window's open! Hmm, bit of a draught in here. Let's close the window. Yeah! Goodness me! Wise old elf, what are you... Ah! My jar of honey. What an amazing delivery service. You're even dressed as a bee. Yes? Let me in. What are you playing at? Shh. What's going on? Bees. Bees. Ah, yes. I used to be frightened of bees too. But it turns out they're quite useful. Shush. Who switched the lights out? Follow me quietly, Your Majesty. Where are we going? Shh! Wise old elf, there better be a good reason for this, or good grief! What are those bees doing? Uh, the bees have decided that the little castle is their new home, Your Majesty. What? But looking on the bright side, you can have all the honey you can eat. Why have they all come here? They followed me because they think I'm the Queen Bee. What? Will you have a fairy cake? 
Well, all right. Whoa! I'm flying! Put me down! Oh, well, if you insist. Ah! Magic always leads to trouble. But you used to love magic. That was a long time ago. Thank goodness none of you could see me then. Oh, I think I've got some old pictures somewhere. Wizard Elf, did you like magic? In those days, I wasn't the wise old elf. I was a foolish young elf. We had such fun. You simply adored magic. Yes, but that was before the incident of the monkey kittens. <gasps> the monkey kittens. What happened? I think I've got a picture of that too. No. Oh, well, another time. Now for the party games. Hooray! We still have to finish hide and seek from last time. We never found Grandpapa. He's been hiding for a year. Hiding? For a whole year? Yes, he does take the game very seriously. We'll find him. Leave it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpapa, where are you? What's that? It's a shoe tree. Wow. <laughs> Grandpapa Thistle. Grandpapa. Swimming through the air. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Grandpa, papa, papa. Grandpa, papa, 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 papa. Bless me, it's the twins. You found me at last. Grandpapa. And Holly, my dear. Did I win the game? Hello, Dad. Have you really been hiding there all year? If a game's worth playing, it's worth playing right. Hello. I can hear voices! Whoa! That was loud! We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Like that! Oh, no! The dwarves have woken up! Woken up? Yes. Deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning, all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. Thistle. <laughs>